Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Saturday. Half for markets. I bring you the updates. Enugu government creates more obstacles as Mba secretly arranged innocent protesters over sit at home. Now, the Enugu government, led by Peter Mba and the police command in Enugu state, has arraigned and remanded in prison custody for away the main market traders for protesting against the ceiling of their shops by Governor Peter Mba for not coming to market on Monday. Now, the traders, namely, uh, namely Eze Binago Keste, 45 years old, Eze Patrick, 53, Fred Ami, aka Ozome, 47, and Obujud, 37, they were all arraigned on three counts frivolous charges filed against them in the case between them and the Commission of Police. Of course, they were secretly arraigned before an Enugu North Magisterial District Court on Wednesday. All right. Now, you will recall that the security agents deployed by Peter Mba to await the main market killed three traders and injured several others when traders took to the streets to protest against the ceiling of their shops by the government of Enugu State for not opening for business the previous Monday. All right. Now, look at the frivolous charges leveled against these people, these innocent protesters, as obtained by Sahara reporters. Now look at it. The count, the count read as follows. I quote, Count one, that you, as a Binago case here, M, as a Patrick M. Friday, and A.K. Ozome, M, that's Mel, Obu Jude Nkem, Mel, and others, now at large, on the 26th day of July, 2023, at about 0900 hours at Obetemen Market Enugu in the Enugu North Magisteria District did conspire among yourselves to commit felony to wit, promoting local war and riotous assembly, and thereby committed an offence punishable under Section 495, Paragraph A of Criminal Code Cap 30, Volume 2, Revised Laws of Enugu State of Nigeria, 2004. Now, Cantu says that you, as a Binaka case here, Mel, as a Patrick Mel, Friday and A.K. Ojuma Mel, Obujud and Mel, and others now at large on the same date, time, place, and aforementioned magisterial district, did righteously assemble yourselves and destroy the building office of the Obetemen Market Traders Association, that's all matter, and thereby committed an offence punishable section 112 of Criminal Code, Cap 30, Volume 2, Revised Laws of Enugu State of Nigeria, 2004. Country states that you as a Binaga case here, as a Patrick M, Fred Anike Ozume, Mel, Obujudinkem, all Mel, and others now at large on the same date, time, place, and affirmation, magisterial district, did without law for authority, carries on war or war like against the chairman of the Obete Men Market Traders Association and the Nugu State Government, and thereby committed an offense. Punishable under Section 86 of Criminal Code, Cap 30, Volume 2, Revised Laws of Enugu, State of Nigeria, 2004. Now, it was reported that on Friday, the trial magistrate ordered that the suspects should be remanded at Enugu Maximum Correctional Custodial Center and adjourn the case till further notice. He claimed that the court lacks jurisdiction to entertain the case. I have stopped quoting now. Look. This is what the governor of Enugu State is doing. He has taken people to prison because they were merely protesting for selling, their, for selling their shops by the state government. For what offense did they commit? They stayed at home. They said they, they are not going out to do business because they want to stay at home. Now, does this warrant the government to go and sell shops? And people said, why will you sell our shops? And the, the government brought in soldiers, troops, and they killed people in that place. After killing the masses, the same government is, they have jailed people because they said, they told government they shouldn't have closed their shops. They protested peacefully. And look at the frivolous charges the government leveled against these people. All right? They said felony, righteous act. They dismantled and destroyed buildings. Where they can bulldozer to destroy buildings. 
during the protest. Whether these people were crime builders, are we asking to say they destroyed buildings, pulled down everything? So look, the government is, is still moving in that direction that will destroy the government and the administration if care is not taken. We have told this man to go and learn from other governors. So Ludo tried this when he started Nanambra State, and it was obvious. And he noticed, we advised him, Saludo, to tread with caution that the way he's going, you know, will definitely, you know, burn his fingers. And of course, he retreated to some point. And this man is even taking this um, matter of sit at home on his head. He's carrying it on his head. Is he the first governor in the southeast or in any good state? All this sit at home has been happening before he came. The man that left, the one they call Buruburu, you know, if I knew Gwani, he has been there. We know how he's been trying to see if they can, you know, manage the whole thing. Of course, they know, you know, that they seem to be cowards because they failed to say the truth. Of course, they know what happened. They know how Mazinam Khan has been under, you know, uh, illegal incarceration. They did not say anything talking about those governors. But oh my, we know what they did. You know, they all slaves to full and oligarchs. And today they are still serving the man who is from the other side. The other side. Yes. So they are still serving him, the one who said he will rule at all cost. That it is in stone. The Milokos. And they are serving them. They are all they are there to just grow well and be in perpetual servitude to those men. And so the governor came on board, instead of him to reason with his senses and understand the situation of things and the times we were in and approach it with utmost care. Yes, but what he's doing is to exacerbate the already tense situation. We won't tell sorry to him when whatever will happen to him. We will not tell sorry to him because he's biting more than he can chew. That is it. So we are telling the international community to be aware because they are doing this trial secretly. Look at what the judge said. Said that they lack the jurisdiction to attend the case and therefore they have adjourned it till further notice, just seen a die. No date fixed. Just they will languish in prisons for protesting the state government's wicked act of locking shops of people who stayed in their houses, their own shops. The shops they bought with their money. So this is that one thing. If care is not taken, it will take people's, you know, those in authority, their lives. And we will not stay solely to them because it has taken the lives of innocent people, masses, because of the intransigence of the state governments in the Southeast. Otherwise, this kind of thing is avoidable. Why will you bring troops to chase people, to attack people who are making protests? So since it has consumed the lives of innocent persons who did nothing wrong, only that they are protecting their property and their well-being, those in authorities, those who left us, you know, we're not, we're, not, we're not going to be sorry for them if it definitely costs their own lives too. Because they are orchestrating evil and death upon the people by their maladministration and wickedness and their penchant to grow well and be a slave perpetually to Fulani oligarchs and the Milokons and those in